seven stages of life and uh, the subtle commonalities. And we were thinking to access, in relation to accessing, um, what could we support and what do we have um, within that? And from your families, um, how could you access that? And what can you do? That could be one of the questions in regards to supporting um, community. I also saw the seven grandfathers very similar yet different in honesty, bravery, courage. How do we do that in regard to respecting where everyone is at? And a lot of the teachings that I heard this morning were very similar in that way in regards to not putting ourselves ahead, not putting ourselves behind, and working alongside and in regards to wanting our voice to be heard but our voice to be heard in sharing. And that you have some of that um, within you from your families in regards to how, you, how do you support those roles and how do you support um, those stages of life. Research practice, for example, research practice and teaching are all the same. So in the ceremonies, you could see the teaching, you could see the research, and you could see um, that practice as well. You could see the theories. You could do that because that's accessible within you are. Although ours predate those times in seven stages, you have developmental theories like Piaget. Now you have the Maslow hierarchy of needs, where for post, where the seven stages, those are developmental theories. Our DSM may be in the East, a medicine wheel in regards to the mental, the spiritual, and the emotional. So we can um, access that within ourselves. So what I would ask you is to look at that. How then, as searcher, researchers yourselves within communities, can you see yourself supporting all of those stages of life and all of those roles and all of those ceremonies and protocol? We saw that they were outlawed in those regards. And if you look at those, the series of all of those acts and regulations, which were the result of research, and that ended up in regulations and policies that in a sense oppress. And if you look at them from the beginning, 1763, the Proclamation Act, to the end in regards to the abolishment of residential school, there is a picture of optimism in regards that one was no consultation with the other, and then the last one is kind of including us. So there is sort of a partnership. And now what can we do to further that? in regards to, to control, etc., in regards to that research. So those are things that you can access in supporting those roles.